All right, so Peter, why don't you hop in here? Oh yeah. Yes. All right, let's do this. Oh. What's up, Michael Stemmel? Ron Baldwin. Got some like MIDI, you know, MIDI interpretation of the Indiana Jones theme. All right. They gonna make yeah. step through these credits? No, no. Oh, I. They might. They might. No. Um. No, they're making me. The, the so, Kyoto yeah. in, in the chat, Kyoto thirty seven just said you can buy a lot of the old LucasArts stuff still on Steam. Yes, in fact, this this game, Fate of Atlantis, is uh, along with the special editions of Monkey Island one and two and Loom and so on are are, are all uh, on Steam. So this had the great like full screen inner, inner you know uh, visuals where they'd done away with the kind of somewhat intrusive, I guess. Scum. Carving of Shiva. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All that stuff at the bottom of the screen, and here you can just interact directly with stuff by clicking on it. Um, one really interesting thing about this game is that there's a few different paths you can take through it, and one like one of them is more combat heavy. One is more cerebral and puzzly. So it, it gave you actually a lot of freedom in terms of how you wanted to move through the through the story. Hmm. So, what, I'm looking for something in this junk right now. A statue, now. in fact, is what you're looking for. I believe I've clicked all the statues. This might be the last one. Whoa! Ah, uh, Peter, you screwed up. You've got to, got to start over now. Oof. Nope. Yeah, this is, a, this is a great and memorable opening sequence. All right, Jones. He's, you know, we give him a break. He's just, take, he's just taking a load off. Taking a load off. All right. All right. Looks like beadwork from the Phoenix Collection. Not the voice of Harrison Ford you're hearing. The label says unidentified potsherds. Potsherds. Let's see. Oh, all right, all right. My bad. I yeah. I, okay, so potlatch India. So the HUD will will uh, make an appearance a bit later on. <laughs> I played this game many times, but it's been it's been many many years. You didn't know what you were talking about. That's true. <laughs> so uh, that's okay. I, I usually am just bullshitting. Uh, hey, call me Joe. Styles from the Shamit collection. Yeah. What's up, rope? Oh, what wow. a klutz! What? Whoa! What a klutz! And surprise, you're not breaking into some ancient uh, collection. You are actually just, I think, here in in your university. Yeah, I agree. Zeraki thirteen thirteen says for a game so old, it it looks great. I mean, this art style. I don't need them. They're just textbooks. Uh, it, it's just so vivid, and it, yeah, it really is just a nice looking game. I think I've read them all. What a nerd! All right. These books don't look familiar. Uh oh. Rut row. God, what a buffoon! <clears throat> All right, he's taking about four loads off at this point. <laughs> it's a it's a fun way to do the opening credits, though. Better get that roof checked. That roof, otherwise known as the floor. It's a book ready to fall. All right, figured that out. An imitation of vast cat goddess of fertility. Looks pretty slippery. <laughs> Go for it, Indy. Sure, Come on. on. Pretty slippery. Uh, that's your cue to fall. <laughs> All right. I feel like that book. <laughs> no. Uh, for Looks real. Pretty Come slippery. on, Jones. Uh, Surprise. Whoa. Bonk. What a klutz. All right, I'm worried about that fire. Get up, Jones. He's not worried about that fire. No. Nope. No. It's hot. <laughs> you said it. All right, I need some ammunition or green I'll herbs. Be. 
Strange looking thing. I wonder where Marcus picked it up. <laughs> well, I'm done here. <laughs> I'm back. Indy? You don't look at all well, Dr. Jones. Exploring our collections can be dangerous, Mr. Uh, That's a what was your name, name again? Smith. Tell me, did you find a lock to match my key? Yeah. You bet I did. Take a look. What are you waiting for? Let's open it. Why not? It's an obvious fake. You may think so, Doctor, but I believe we are opening a new chapter in history. <laughs> yes, very astute people in our uh, in the chat saying, "Oh, I wonder who the bad guy might be." Can you yes. mind if I take it? If you've ever seen uh, any, you know, the like early Indiana Jones films, Gentlemen. you know that Germans are often <laughs> bad news at the time. Hmm. What is fights? What is fights? Yeah! He got away. But we got Keen eyes there, Marcus. <laughs> Keen eyes. He just, he just left through the window. <laughs> <laughs> Klaus Kerner, huh? Good lord, Indy. The man's some sort of agent. He told me his name was Mr. Smith. <laughs> what does the spy want with a booted statue? What is a spy doing with a passport just out on a desk? <laughs> I lied, Marcus. I don't think it's a phony. I can't place the style, but it's old. All right. Look what else our friend was carrying. An old copy of National Law. Ah, an actual image of uh, Harrison Ford. Yeah, field supervisor for the Jastro expedition. My first real job. Who's the woman? Sophia Hapgood. She was my assistant. A spoiled rich kid from Boston, rebelling against her family. So quick to when judge. Now? She gave up archaeology to become a psychic. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Pretty astute judgment say there. That again. I suppose I was the one who was quick to judge. You, <laughs> we've all learned something <laughs> here today, Peter. <laughs> we've learned that you are a very judgmental person. Yeah. You're right. I want to know more about that statue. <laughs> this is you business, know, Marcus, Indy. The coldest year of my His life was the one I spent yep, in yep. with Sophia. Hmm. <gasps> Oh, I love the I yeah. love the maps, the red lines. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Yes. So this is where, if I recall correctly, and I've said off so much stuff that's completely wrong. So I <laughs> so don't put any faith in this. But I think there's like a couple of different ways to get into this theater, and that maybe you know one is like a combat way, one is like a puzzly way, and maybe from maybe the game uses that to kind of determine. Whether it's gonna, I don't know. Never mind. There's, just, I know that there's a few ways to get in there. That's, I'm not gonna say any more than that. This was taken a long while ago. Oh darn! I thought we might like each other. I thought we might like each other. <laughs> Interesting walk. His legs don't separate at all when he moves. All right, I'm gonna make a phone call. I can't. Or time travel. Or t turn into Superman. <laughs> Power of the phone booth. Um, well, I can't talk to it. Can I? No, you can't talk to the phone booth, unfortunately. <laughs> Damn. All right. Oh, that door looks secret about something. Uh, I'm gonna look at. Can't. No. So you're trying to just to kind of 
clarify your objectives here, Peter. I've been playing a lot of Bioshock Infinite. Okay. I assume there's cotton candy in this garbage That's, can. Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so forgive me. You never know I'm... when you're going to find a hot dog just sitting in a desk and be like, mmm, <laughs> I got to get me some of that. Yeah. Um, yes. Mm, it's unlocked. Hmm. What do you want, pal? This ain't no ticket office. <laughs> oh, more renegade Indiana Jones. <laughs> well, what do you think? I think I'm tired of Fancy Dan Collins. Fancy Dan. Big voice, and I think you better apologize. Apologize with my fist. Ooh. Dude, wow, you are going renegade all the way here. All right, it might be the same controls that for the earlier game. No, not doing anything. Try just clicking. Oh god. Sorry. I that's my fault. But maybe just maybe just click on him? To I just punch him. I just lost face in front of that Darwinian nightmare. <laughs> you can that dude. meatball. So go get him and go give him what for to like reclaim your reclaim your <laughs> dominance. Your manly dignity. <laughs> All right, come on, door. Here I go again. Here I go again. <laughs> <laughs> this has got a great walk on this guy. Back for more, huh? Uh, See the now the second one. Excuse me, sorry to bother you. <laughs> oh, okay, my. Right. Yeah, that didn't work. No, that didn't work at all. We gotta go in with fist blazing. Fist blazing. That was my name in high school. Nickname. Third time's the charm. Yeah, maybe. I've got nothing to say to you. Wait, I'm sorry I offended you. Oh, in oh. that case, what do you want? <laughs> uh, let me in, you Darwinian nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> this is the last time I'll do it this way. I just really want to fight. He's mixing up the insults. Ooh. Pumpkin head. Pumpkin, Pumpkin head. head. That yeah. is cold. Done it. Now you've done it. it. Yeah, I'm angry. They should have gone with Tuna Head as a callback to Maniac Mansion. Different universe. So if you stop, you can let your power charge up for a bit. Uh, which might be a more effective tactic, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, Dan, what's uh, what other games are we going to be playing? So questions in the chat about uh, what other Chris stuff. Chris Waters is going to oh, play uh, okay. Force Unleashed 2. Okay. He's going to bring it into the now. The Xbox okay, okay, we're we're Whoa. coming, bringing it into the as close to the present as we can get. Yeah, as many D's as this will allow. Uh, as a reminder, too, the Giant Bomb team is going to go live with Thursday Night Throwdown in a little bit, mm -hmm. a little after four o'clock, I believe. Wait. And they are also going to play some the Lucas man. games. Are they do, doing ones that we yeah. didn't he cover today? Are they typically Thursday Night Throwdown has, has some competitive aspects to it? Do you know if they're playing competitive uh, stuff? They didn't. They didn't All tell right. me, but All I right. did give them my here. copy of the X-wing trilogy. Oh, dude. So okay. uh, I know Brad or Drew are, is probably going to play either X-wing, Tie Fighter, or X-wing Alliance. Um, they're also going to play some of the newer stuff. Um, and tomorrow, here on twitch.tv slash GameSpot at, I believe, 1 p.m. Pacific time, you can't go out we're going to play uh, Star Wars Battlefront 2 oh, nice. for FPS Friday. Here, my friend, is Atlanta. So it's all Lucas. As it might have like, appeared. We, everybody it. is just going and living, living the good old days and Socially playing the old good Lucas games. From back in the day. From back in the day. There was a time period in there where Beyond the games were wildest just balls. Dreams. I will totally fully admit that right years ago, now. while everyone else still I'll hold you responsible. Game. You should. I do. But I, 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 I don't care. <laughs> okay. All right. Age and power were united in true happiness. Centuries later, the famous... Sounds like she's describing Alexander wrote about it. Him. He placed Whatever. Atlantis on a continent out in the deep ocean and described how it was divided into three circular parts, such as you see here. Isn't she something? She can go on for hours. <laughs> Pervy old man. She can go on for hours. All right, I'm going to talk to him, get him Excuse to me. do something. Go away. Shh. Oh, what it, she's just coming to the excitement. Start setting up this 360 for Chris. Okay. Oh, fine. What befell the serene city? 
We may never know for sure. Was it the sea level slowly creeping higher, or the Earth itself suddenly shifting? However it happened, panic must have gripped the citizens. On that fateful day when proud Atlantis sank beneath the waves. Just or, like that. Perhaps it was a volcanic eruption, and something remains even she, now. I thought she was a psychic. On some questions, the great oh. spirit who... You'll, you'll see just what a psychic she is. The all-seeing Nurab Sal. Silent. <laughs> <laughs> I've been through this a hundred times. The woman never stops. <laughs> she, she's literally just on that stage yapping all the time. Wait, wait. She's still talking. I know, I know. Talk to see. Talk to him again, cause she can't. Yeah. Excuse me. Excuse me. Yeah. What now? Okay. Here you go. Now, now you can interrupt him. You look tired. Wouldn't you like to call it a day? Nah, sooner or later I get to run the ghost out there. That's always a big moment. I think that's the moment that this guy lives for. Yeah, well that's his... That's pretty much all he has. Pretty much. Excuse me. Yeah, what now? Oh. <laughs> Madam, <Dorf, laughs> you're fired. What? You can't fire me. No, she said that you're fired. Take a look at my driver's license. Take a look at my wallet. <laughs> oh, no. Take a look at my union card. Stop pestering me and watch the <laughs> show, will ya? No, I won't ya. Excuse me. All right, let's yeah, try to get through this. What, what do you What do you think? Uh, isn't there something you'd rather be doing? Isn't there something you'd rather be doing? Like what? Show business is my whole life. Anyway. Wouldn't you rather be eating a sandwich? Um, uh, don't you ever read? I think is what you is what you want to say you ever here. Read? Sure, it's yeah. a hobby of mine. Ah, uh, yes, that one. But what if I give you something to read? I might take a look. I don't know. If a stranger walked up to you... me and was like, "Don't you like to drink beer?" Be like, sure. Be like, what if I give you some beer to drink? <laughs> I would. Yeah. I'd be like, I don't know, dude. <laughs> you seem a little too eager to get me you to drink your beer. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so what, what? 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 I don't know if you. Oh, I have this book, so I'll give him the book. You try it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why do I keep no, looking uh, at him? Oh, he's obsessed. <laughs> you think you might need to give? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here. Yeah. Here. No. no. Okay, you, I think there was a newsstand outside. I think you may need to go get a newspaper or something from the newsstand. Okay, all right. Yeah. I'll take your word for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I... She's still talking. Yeah, I know. She's talking. She's still talking. Hey, Peter, she's talking here. Hey, buddy, where do you think you're going? <sighs> Come on. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Go to 37 in the chat suggests give him a fist to read. I like the way you think. Yeah. More news, please. So I see the, the thing on the red board right there. That, yeah. There you go. Shuffle, shuffle. Come on, Dr. Jones. Let's do this. Uh, yeah. Here. Here. <laughs> okay. Well, the Here. I wonder if the Dodgers won. Watch the lights while I find out, okay? <laughs> I gotta, yeah, I gotta yeah, walk yeah. away and make sure I can read this in private. I do need smaller pants. <laughs> Alright, what's it gonna be? Um. I kinda wanna push that button. Go for the Go for it, man. Yeah. Nothing's stopping you. Bloop. Nothing happened. Yeah. So you wait. Take that button. Nothing happened. I am going to pull the left lever. It won't go any further in that direction. I'm going to push the left lever. Yeah. All right. And I'm going to pull. Ooh, no, that one. one, you can't pull that oh, one either. Oh, I see yeah, the black. I thought that was a shadow. Okay, I'm going to push all these freaking levers. <gasps> wait, it's green. I think that, you know what I think that means, Peter. I think it means you've got things exactly right where you want them. I just want to walk out there. Hold on. Oh, that's yeah. so much. <laughs> I got my eye on you. Yeah, I thought you were reading. <laughs> I wish you weren't a liar, old man. 
We don't no! Do it. No? Oh, dude, it was green. So you want me to push yeah, the I don't button? know if you know this, but green is like a universal sign for like things being all right, all good right. and stuff. Sure, yeah, fine. There we go. There we go. Yeah. There it goes. May I present Nurab Sal, the great Atlantean god of... of... Deceit. Deceit. Thanks, Cindy. Indiana Jones, you've got some. Indiana, go back, you big jack o' lantern. Ooh, burn. <laughs> Gurk. Oh, great. Good night, folks. <laughs> well, <laughs> I guess I have to walk off now. Come on, mister. I've got a few words to mince with you. Okay. Let us let us time. commence the mincing of words. I used that phrase just the other day. Just today, Oh, in fact. no! Oh, like no! Stay put. Yeah, I love the just the kind of 30s, 40s elegance uh, of the, you know, the cars and no here. the lights and stuff in this game. It just looks great. Nor here either. <laughs> All right. <gasps> Klaus! <laughs> mein liebster Fiend! Dr. Oberman! Fantastic new! We found the treasure we should. Yep, take your hair, buddy. Yeah. Bye! <laughs> That's the second time Kerner slipped. Ha. People in the chat asking him, how, how did he get his coat back? How did he get his jacket back? Newspaper? <laughs> he must have had a spare, yeah. yeah. Listen to this. Germans claim victory in This is like the stereotypical the German doctor. Mm -hmm. For real. No, like uh, Metal Gear Rising, the doctor, maybe he wasn't German, but he was European and he Germans are European, so. <laughs> yes. But anyway, no, I think, I think he was German and he had that same bald little glasses, whatever. Uh, it makes a good point. They'll never find enough uranium. Of course not. That's why they're looking for the power of Atlantis. Be serious. I feel like she needs a, a good, like, stiff drink. Think you'd make a good scientist. Just to relax. Yet you stole things from my expedition. Artifacts such as archaeology has never seen. Hmm. <laughs> she makes a good point. You arrested. So what if I kept a few pieces for myself? Look for a small coppery bead under those clippings in my desk. All right, I'm getting ready to click. No, oh, I don't. Have to... What do Take you a lot know? of fun out of the game. Kerner missed the grand prize. What? My necklace. Watch closely. I am. The bead is made of auric calcum, the mystery metal first mentioned by Plato. Now I'll place it in the medallion's mouth. The power! Did you see that? <laughs> yeah. See what? <laughs> Is your electric bill paid up? That was Nurab Sal. His spirit is close. What do you think? Uh -huh. Have you given it any thought? I well, yeah. Now that I've had to. Uh, Nurhal what? Nurhal what? Nurhal what? <laughs> Suppose I gave this <laughs> like playing Indiana Jones as the credence. biggest like just buffoon you can possibly make him. Duh. We have no idea where to find your mythical lost city. Shh. I'm getting something. Ugh. Nurab Sal <laughs> speaks. <laughs> he bids us find the what? Oh, a book. Yes. I've got a book. The lost dialogue of Plato. Another fine myth.
<laughs> it's not in any library I've ever been in. What if the Nazis have already found a copy? You ever think of that? Hmm. <laughs> How did the Nazis get interested in Iceland? Antiquities dealers probably told them about me. Nice friend. So you full of yourself. Who's working there these days? Bjorn Heimdall, I believe. Maybe we should pay him a visit. What do you say? I thought you'd never ask. Ooh. Get the, uh, get the, old, the old gang back together. All right. Going by plane. What a vista. All right. Old dig site. <laughs> yes. All right, forget that. Yeah, man. Summon cam and that turned out to be. Hey, buddy. Bjorn, Bjorn Dr. Bjorn Heimdall. Bjorn. I'm going to look at him first. Yeah. There's nothing to look at. Oh, yeah. wow, oh, Andy. Oh, cold. Oh, oh. That is cold. Super. Dude. That's my whip. That's my whip. Yeah. Wow. That's my whip. I, that's my whip. All right, Bjorn. Dr. Heimdall. <laughs> Dr. Indiana Jones, I believe, and Madame Sophia Hapgood. This is my dig site Hapgood. now. Go away. You are a rude person, Doctor. Not feeling very friendly today, are we? I like solitude. It helps me think. I thought you were digging up Norse graves in Denmark. I was. Obviously, now I'm not. Doctor, what do you expect to find here? The secret of Hyperborea. That's what the Greeks called Iceland, you know. <laughs> You've read how they sailed north to a fog shrouded land and how they never set foot upon it. Ha! Huh. After traveling thousands of miles, mere fog wouldn't turn them back. Some idiots claim they've ever tailed by ghosts. Puppycock, you know what actually stopped them, John? Christopher Chris Waters. Waters. Hey everybody. Hey hey. hey. Buddy. You guys. We're we're playing some Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis, one of the great oh, uh, Lucas Arts point and click adventure games. So that's Indiana Jones. Yeah. yeah. The chick with the red hair, is Sophia. Yeah. So this guy here is Atlantis. Yes. Cool. Cool. So you're about to conquer the game? Mm, yeah, I, wow. we're at the conquer point. <laughs> this nice. Is... You've reached what that's called the conquer point. <laughs> you guys been enjoying so you it? Completely discounted it's, I mean, it's a game that I've played many times when I was younger uh, and have very fond memories of. It's, uh, it's nice to revisit because for a lot of reasons, but I think it's, uh, it's got an art style that I think holds up really well. It still looks just really attractive, even though it's by no means, you know, state of the art. It's uh, not HD, man. No, 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 not by, not by any stretch. He just called you an Atlantean artifact. Oh, snap. What, a jerk. Oh, no, maybe he's talking about that picnic basket in the wall. Have you ever heard of Plato's Long Dialogue? <laughs> I believe that's a roast chicken. Uh, this is, yes, right, right. <laughs> Secretly, this used to be Dracula's that's lair. That's the kind of things that you put in walls in the world. So people are, this. people want to know, Chris, if you've uh, brought any apples you with on? you today? Yeah. Uh, no, I have my apple back at my desk. Oh, after. Because all right. Because this is a half-hour live stream, not I, sharing. Can, okay. I can make it through without yeah. snack time. But okay. Thank you for your concern. Yes. For those of you who may not know what we're talking about, we do a Wednesday... Uh, 
uh, professional Wednesdays? Is that well, Shit, whatever. That's, that's a name for that it. is a name for it, uh, which is a anyway a Wednesday new releases live show. Us with the folks over at Giant Bomb, um, and yesterday there was a great interlude. Very, you know, one of the exciting high points of the show when Chris, you know, to keep his stamina up uh, during the long haul of hosting. It's a three-hour show. No, man. it is. It's an ordeal. I needed a little an apple to yeah. to get him through. All this Apple talk is making it really hard for me to find Atlantis. I just want you to okay. see <laughs> should ask about eels again. Yeah. <laughs> again. He'll kick me out of his again. cave. Again. I'm going to kick you out of this cave. I want to play a LucasArts I'm game. It's not all yeah. nonsense. So, Get out of here. I want to fight space wizards in HD. Because <laughs> that's what LucasArts is. Space wizards. True. Space samurai. Too. Space, space Boba Fett's. Go ahead. Blame it on Yes. Yeah, spoilers. 1313 was actually going to be about Space Boba Fett. Yes. It's not really a spoiler. It's well, just sort of well, a, a revelation. When we, yeah, because when we saw it at E3, uh, I, I don't know, did you see it at E3? I did, yeah. And so the main character... I hosted a stage demo for that. Okay. 15-minute block. Yeah. And they had, like, a minute and a half of footage. Oh, really? So we just kept looping it. Okay, so Talking I... Talking about Star Wars. We actually got to see a, you know, a, I don't know, 15-minute cool. or so chunk of gameplay, but... They were very specific and very coy about, like, well, this main character that you're seeing here, you know, this he might just be kind of like a stand-in. Like, we're not necessarily saying, you know, who this game is about. So don't, you know, put too much, oh. uh, don't put too much significance on this person who kind of seems to be the main character but here. But now that game is shelved, Still and it was revealed that Boba Fett was going to be the main character. Yes, yes. And the theme Boba song Fett. was going to be Fett's Vet. Excuse me. <laughs> by MC Chris. So uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna wrap up uh, here in Iceland. But this is a this game wow. is totally on Steam, and if you have not played it, it totally holds up as a, just a great Indiana Jones game, a great point and click adventure. So uh, I highly recommend um, that, that uh, those around. of you who haven't previously experienced it, okay. check it out. They've just experienced it. We gave okay, them the experience. we've given them a taste, a little taste. <sighs> if you like what you see, you know. Delve deeper into the fate mm -hmm. of Atlantis. Mm -hmm.